Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection. I thought I would quickly squeeze this video in before I transferred all my makeup into the new set of drawers that I bought for it. Um, as you'll soon see I have no room left for any makeup at all and it's all jam packed in there and I can't fit anything new in there and I need to keep buying it. So in this drawer, set of drawers I'm about to show you up to its full capacity so the rest of the makeup I actually have in my makeup kit um, case. Keeping in mind that this is my profession, I am a makeup artist, I do makeup YouTube videos so my whole life is revolving around cosmetics so it makes sense for me to have a bit more than the average person. I don't think I have an unreasonable about, I tend to use pretty much all of it which is pretty crazy but I do so. And also keeping in mind that I'm not bragging in any way, everything that I have that I'm about to show you I bought myself, I have been sent absolutely nothing. Um, I have worked my little butt off to buy everything so I hope you guys keep that in mind and I also hope that you enjoy the video. As you can see right here I've got my makeup collection and then this tall black standing one right there that's actually going to be where I'm going to be moving my collection to. So just the single one right down the side there. That one over there is actually for clothes so this one's for makeup. So I thought I'd show you guys before I move it all into there. It's just a wooden storage uh, unit from Ikea. I'm just going to show you guys a quick view of my vanity and where I edit my videos. So just starting off right here, this is actually where I store all my makeup. This is one of those 8 drawer plastic um, container things, I don't know how to describe it. That's just where I keep all my makeup, excusing the bin to the side. So that's just where I keep my makeup. So those big lights right in front of us, those are my filming lights, so they're fluorescent. And I have a big mirror right there, and that's what I look into when I film, so I can see what I'm doing. And I will go into a bit more depth about what's on my vanity later. But just to give you a quick overview, I have my makeup brushes, a few of my favourite lipsticks, some skincare, um, some favourite palettes. Then over here, we're turning the corner, and I have my jewellery collection that's in the pink that's in those pink drawers just because I don't really like jewellery so much so I just kind of shove it in there. Um, and then over here I have my iPad, phone and computer and that's where I edit my videos. I've currently got one of my newest videos up on the screen right now. And then a box of tissues because I'm sick. So moving back around, sorry if the lighting's awful. Okay, so back to my makeup collection, I'll show you what's on top. So right on top I have a Bobbi Brown book, and that's the Bobbi Brown Pretty Powerful book, and that's just what I'm currently reading. I like to keep it out just to remind me to read it, because I'm one of those people where it just forgets and then it never gets done. And then I've also got two jars just full of lip pencils. I've got my less used ones, colours I don't tend to grab as often, and then I've got my more used ones right here. They're pretty much nudes and pinks and reds. So I've got um, Napoleon Purtis, um, MUA Makeup Academy, Amuse, a couple Face of Australia, the NYX Normal Pencils, the NYX Retractable, um, Rimmel Maybelline, and just a few more NYX in there. I actually really like the NYX lip pencils. So I just keep these in two plastic containers right here, just nice and easy to grab. So in the first row I don't have anything too exciting, I've just got a few makeup palettes. So these are pretty much like the cheaper palettes, like those 88 colour palettes. So those type of palettes and I've got a few of them, I think I've got like five of them by now. And then I've got a few like the concealing one, the blushing one, um, the lip gloss one, and then just a few dodgy ones that I barely ever use, and another blush one. So in this first store I actually have all my more used products, so my more used concealers and foundations and primers and stuff like that. So I have my most used foundation at the moment, that's the Chi Chi Super BB Cream, and I have that in the light and the medium. Then I have my Revlon Color Stay, and this is in ivory. I have my L'Oreal Lumi Magic. And then for powders at the moment, I've been using the Nude by Nature Mineral Powder, and this one is in light. And I've got the Sheer Genius Mineral Powder, and this is in tan, and this is off Mineral Makeup Market. And I actually bought this because Chloe Morello bought it, and of course... You know, I had to buy it because she bought it. Next, I have a few concealers that I've been using. I've got the Garnier Roll-On um, Under Eye 
rollable thing with caffeine in it and this is really good if you're sick because it reduces the puffiness of your eyes. I've got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I've got the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer. My Benefit Erase Paste. And then moving on to primers. I've got my Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I'm trying that out at the moment. My Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. That one's really weird because it comes out like a salmon colour. Um, the Revlon Be Your Natural Primer, which is a bit of an old one. The Body Shop Matte Primer, which I love. And the L'Oreal Base Magique Primer. And the Sheer Pure Magic Primer, which is really fantastic as well. So just moving down into this section just here. This is where I actually keep my favourite powders. So this is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. And these are just thebomb.com. They are so amazing and they're a fantastic dupe for the MAC powder. Um, I've got Darkest Brown from when I'm really tanned and just natural for when I'm just like more of a natural tan colour. I actually can't get um, a shade that matches me for when I'm not fake tan, unfortunately. Moving to the back of this drawer, I've got my more lesser used products, so stuff that I don't reach to as much or maybe doesn't match me as well as I'd like it to. Um, so to get started, I've got a few powders on top. I've got the Revlon Photo Ready Powder, and I actually really like this. I just can't fit this in the front part. Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 Foundation. I'm not a fan of Thin Lizzy too much. The CoverGirl Press Powder, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> um, the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder, which is actually pretty decent. I think I've seen Lauren Curtis use it. Um, and the Thin Lizzy Fake It Bronzer, which is good for touching up your fake tan. I've got the Artistry Hydrating Foundation, um, Rimmel Match Perfection, the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, um, Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which is good, it's just a bit too dark at the moment, and that powder is exploded everywhere. But um, a Fit Me Foundation in a really dark color just for contouring. Um, the Fit Me Foundation in a more natural color, and Revlon Color Stay in a darker color for if I'm trying to contour again. And I've also got the Estee Lauder Double Wear right there. And then up the back, I've got the New By Nature BB Cream. Then on top, I've got the L'Oreal True Match. This is fantastic. It's just not my colour at all. And then for concealers, I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte Conceal. This is cool because it's got like a little bit of green in the middle, so it's great for um, covering up blemishes. And I've got the Revlon Colour Stay Concealer and the Sonia Kasha Concealer Palette, which I absolutely adore. It's just I finished the colour that I like, so I feel like it's a waste, but it's such a good product. So all together, that's what that drawer looks like. So the next draw down, I have got my mascaras, my brow products, my eye pencils and glitters, and then my single eyeshadows. And then I've got a few single ones just in that corner there as well that I can't fit in. So starting from the back, I have all my mascaras. I don't actually have any high-end mascaras. They're just all drugstore. I absolutely love Essence mascaras and Rimmel. So I've got um, Maybelline Mega Plush, which I love to death. The... Rimmel Scandalized Rock and Curves, Covergirl Lush Perfection, another one. My hair is everywhere, sorry if you can see that. I have the Model Co. Fiber Lash Extended Mascara, Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Mascara, the new Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara, this is the Smoky Eyes one, and I've got the 100% Waterproof Mascara by Rimmel, and the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. At the moment, I'd have to say that the Rimmel Scandalize and the Essence Mascara are actually my two favourites. Next, moving over here, I have my brow products. I don't have too many. I haven't actually experimented with um, many. I actually get stuck with the ones that I love, and I'm too scared to try any others. So I've got Thin Lizzy, um, Elle Flash and Brow Tame, the Australis Extended Brow, Elle May Brow Pencil, um... MUA Makeup Academy, uh, Mika Bonk, Elf Eyebrow Kit, and Face of Australia Eyebrow Kits. So this is the front of my drawer. I've got my single eyeshadows right here, and my eyeliners and gel liners and lash glue right there. And then up the front, I've actually got a few pigments that I can't fit anywhere else. Got a few of the L'Oreal um, Infallible Eyeshadows, and I got these because of Lauren Curtis, of course. I've got an orange, a silver, and a gold. Next, I have my Maybelline Color Tattoos. I adore these so much. They're fantastic bases, all just by themselves. They're great. So I've got a brown, a dark gray, an orange, a white, and then I've got a purple down here. So I have got quite the collection going on. Obviously, I love these. 
Next I've got my Urban Decay Single Eyeshadow in Chopper and I got this because I finished it in the palette. And I've got a Chi Chi Eyeshadow and this is in Beautiful Day. Two NYX Single Eyeshadows and I've got a green and a champagne colour. And I've got two L'Oreal Eyeshadows and these are pretty old I'm pretty sure. Next I have my Gel Liners. So I've got my L'Oreal one and my BYS which is pretty old if it's BYS. <laughs> Then I've got my Napoleon Purtis um, Loose Eye Dust, and this is in Back to the Fuchsia. I have all my MAC Single Eyeshadows. It's an array of colours. I won't list them all, but I'll just show you guys what colours that I have. My favourite one is Sketch, which is this purpley maroon colour right here. Moving on to this side right here, I've got some eyelash glue, so I always use my duo eyelash adhesive. I've got my L'Oreal Super Liner Black Buster. I've got a few of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. This NYX Ultra Pearl Mania Pigment um, Jordana Quick Liner. I've got a few LA Colors Jumbo Pencils. Um, a Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner. I've got these really nice Chi Chi liners. And I actually prefer the e.l.f. glitter liners surprisingly. Um, I've got an Elme Eye Pencil. Face of Australia Liquid Eye Pen. A Essence Eyeliner Pen. And then I've got the NYX Wonder Pencil, a Rimmel eyeliner and a green, a Milani eye pencil, and it's just a few e.l.f. and the NYX Super Skinny Marker, and a pair of tweezers. Also at the front just here because I couldn't fit them anywhere else, I've actually got a pencil sharpener, two Nude by Nature eyeshadows, and I've also got two Napoleon Purtis eyeshadows right here. So I've got all that Shiraz and Chocolate Ganache. Moving down to the next drawer, at the front I've got all my blushes and contour colours, um, highlights and bronzers. I don't have obviously too many, but these are just the ones that I use. Over on this side here, I've got three bourgeois blushes, two NYX blushes. Um, this is in a contour colour. I've got a Makeup Forever High Definition Cream Blush. And then just here, I've got all my Chi Chi blushes. So I've actually got three of them. Bronzer. A blush. I've got another blush there. Then on this side here, I've got all my Elf and Nars and two Wet and Wild. So I've got two Wet and Wild ones here. I've got Heather Silk and Mellow Wine. I've got four Elf blushes. And they're really similar to my Nars packaging, which is quite nice. And then moving forward, I have my four Nars blushes. So I've got Desire, which is the most amazing colour. Albatross, which is a really nice highlighting golden colour. I've got Orgasm, which is everyone's all-time favourite. And I've also got Angelica. At the front, I've got this NARS Contour, and this is in Paloma. And this is one of their newest products. Also got NARS Laguna, which is quite a darker colour. And then I've got two e.l.f. products. So I've got the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer, which is similar to NARS... Um, Orgasm and Laguna. And then I've also got a bronzer which has a nice highlight colour in it. And just coming to the back I've just got some random stuff I can't really fit everywhere else. I've got my NYC bronzing powder. I've got my bourgeois bronzer. Just got my NYX blushes and NYX taupe as well as a contour. I've got a Face of Australia eye definition stick foundation but I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I've got a highlight which I've had forever. Not even sure what brand it is. Teflon Photo Ready Foundation, a Face of Australia Bronzer, Nude by Nature Mineral Powder, and then a few cream highlights and blushes at the back. And then I also have a Maybelline Mineral Powder Blush and an e.l.f. Baked Blush as well. I have all my eyelashes. So at the front I have my more used um, eyelashes, so like my Ardell my XA Beauty. So at the front I've got four of these Socialize, which is by Carissa from Saturday Nights All Right on YouTube. So I decided to grab a few of those because I think it's good to support fellow YouTubers. And that's why I also have the XA Beauty lashes, which I adore. And these are from Shan XO on YouTube. A few lashes that I've just kind of kept in the back here because I want to reuse. Um, more ones that I want to reuse. I've got a few of my Ardell Demi Wispies and a few larger ones. Another duo eyelash adhesive. I've got my individual lashes and a pair of scissors. Further at the back, I've got a few brands that I don't tend to use as much. So like my e.l.f. Red cherries that are a bit too big. I've got replacements for my eyelash curler. A few contact lenses. And the really cheap Japanese um, eBay eyelashes. And some more red cherry at the back. And the next drawer down is like my lip products. 
So at the front of this drawer I have all my most used lip products. This is my favourites and this is my, you know, still used but not as often. And here I've got my Body Innovations Lip Plumper which is the best lip plumper ever. My Lime Crime Matte Lipsticks and I've got the pink and the red. Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Blacker. I've got one of the NYX Extreme Lip Creams. I've got two NYX Lip Glosses, a nude and a pink. Then down the side I have... Two NYX Butter Glosses, which I bought because of Chow by XO, and I actually really, really like them. Um, I've got a pink and a red. I've got a Revlon Liquid Lipstick. I've got a NYX Lip Pencil, and this is more of a lipstick, I think, and it's actually a really nice maroony purple colour. Moving down further, I've got three matte TT Liquid Lipsticks. I actually think these are not matte at all. They're more kind of just liquid lipsticks. So at the bottom, I've got my two Volo... Volo... How do you say this? Volo Lips from Australis. And these are matte lip creams. And I've got the Flora Pink and the Red. At the bottom, I've got three of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. Then on the side over here, I've got... The, ooh, I've got three lip Revlon lip glosses. Another of the Rimmel Apocalypse in a nude. I've got a Mirror Nessa lip balm. I've got a Cherry Culture lip balm, an OCC lip tar, Revlon lipstick. Then I've got two of the Maybelline Color Sensation lipsticks in Vibrant Mandarin and Fatal Red. Then there's two NYX lipsticks, um, and then I've got three of the um, NYX matte lipsticks. I actually really like these. At the very bottom, I've got two MUA Makeup Academy lipsticks. And I actually keep all my most used and most loved lipsticks on my desk in front of me. I've got all my just jumbled everything. I've got lip stains, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip balms. Um, just a bit of your everyday stuff that I don't tend to grab as often. So I've got Thin Lizzy lip gloss. The Collection 2000 lipsticks are the ones in the blue. The L'Oreal Lip Stain in Milady and the Australis Pat Paste in Purple. Lana Lips Lip Glosses. Purple Ointment by Nude by Nature. Um, LA Girl Lipstick. L'Oreal Lip Glosses. Lana Lips 101 Ointment. A Random Stray NYX Lip Pencil. Um, what else is down here? I've got a few of the e.l.f. hydrating glosses, um, a few more of those Maybelline Colour Sensation lipsticks. I've got a Face of Australia lipstick, um, this one is by Timeless apparently, I don't know that brand. A Milani Lip Flash, which is a gloss pencil. Um, a few more e.l.f. products, a teeth whitening gloss, baby lips, Covergirl lip stain. And then in this bottom drawer, I've just got my makeup removal wipes and some spare um, cotton rounds. So thank you guys so much for watching my makeup collection. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I definitely will be doing an updated one in the next month or so. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe if you're not already. It means absolute world to me. I absolutely love doing it and it is all I want to do. So thank you guys so much if you're already supporting me and subscribe to me. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Also, all my social media links will be below. I have Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. So I hope you're having a great day or night and I'll see you next time. Bye.